Hello everyone, welcome back to Miles' Fishing Adventures. Today we're doing something a bit different. We're going to be building and I'm going to show you what I got for with my Christmas money. I just bought it today. This is the surprise I was talking about on my Instagram. It's a, a new fishing kayak, well my first fishing kayak. And what we're going to be doing today is I also bought a uh, water snake electric motor. We're going to be mounting that to the kayak but i'll show you the kayak first so it's a uh, primal fishing kayak from bcf but i got it second hand much cheaper but I, when, when, when i wanted to get the kayak i wanted to get one with a good seat so that's why i wanted to get this kayak so it has a nice elevated seat it's got these rails here where you can mount things such as the uh rod holder it's got dry storage in here you can you can take this part out and it goes into the hole that's a water seal and there's one for your tackle in here drink cup holder somewhere you can mount yeah fish find or anything loose 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 storage right there bungee cord storage in the back this is where you can put like esky or something and yeah, and a couple rod holes at the back. Yeah. Hello. Got a cookie for you. But yeah, this is what we're going to be doing today. Mounting that to the kayak. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is to mount the, um, the motor, you've got to use, you've got to use this. But um, it doesn't go anywhere. So what I'm thinking of doing is if I cut out a piece of wood like this and then drilling that into the kite here around there and then drilling that onto the piece of wood to mount it like that i feel that that should be good enough hopefully it's stable enough yeah it should be stable because it's got four bolts and everything but yeah that's what we're going to do so what now we just need to cut this out and we'll get into that yeah. Drilling. Oh. Yes, my friend Miles is already taken and he's cracked at drilling one guy. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Now you gotta put the bolts in and put it on the kayak. That's for That's really good. <clears throat> what are we doing now? Um, we're drilling the holes that go into the kayak. We just finished drilling the holes that mount the mount onto. But now we're just going to drill the bigger holes to our... Mount onto the kayak. Bolt in the kayak. Yeah. So, how big do you think we should make these bolts? Make them pretty big. Like some seven or eights or anything. I just need to check if we've got any bolts at me. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? Okay. So, to make a good seal, you wanna get a. Because I'm just drawing the. Oh, drill, just drilling the pilot holes yeah. to help it go through easier. So, you wanna get the uh, bit. You wanna make it smaller than the actual. Screw. The. Well, the, um. Yeah, it's screw. So it locks in. A bit better. Yeah. So a bit better of a fit so it actually stays there for longer. Security is secure. Carefully place the drill bit into the drill. Mr. Davey's taught us well. Shout out to Mr. Davey. For doing the Drill the pipe holes for the kayak. This is where there's no going back. This is where shit is the friend. <laughs> right, we're gonna do this perfect It's not touching. Is this touching? What are we doing now? We are drilling into the kayak. Which is a bit, the mounting bit nervous, bit nervous, but you know. hopefully all goes well. Yeah. Alright, here we go. There 
There you go. Two little holes. Like a snake bite. Oh yeah. We're in business, baby. You want to use silicone to make sure that your holes are waterproof. No, you've done yourself a mischief. No. Just give you the gloop very swagger. <laughs> you want a bag loop? You should do it. Make sure you slather that on. You want this to be waterproof. Alright, there you go. Enough curry and too much rice, you know where to go. On to the final mounting process. Me, me, I look And if this ever goes wrong and it ever doesn't end up working, this will still be waterproof because it's such small holes and you just lather it up with a bunch of silicone and it should still be waterproof. But oh, yeah. I'm close. Oh. Making sure it's tight. I don't want to have to bump the ladder. Why is there a shot? Ooh, ooh, that's solid! Solid. What the hell happened to you? Got the scoop. The my drip, my drip, my drip. Alright, we got the Envy groups and a um, sacrifice complete, but it's got a Root Industries brake. Yeah. It doesn't even fit, it's too fat. It's got a purple peg, which is meant for um, Smiths. Alright, moving on, moving on. We got a dual suspension scooter. Which um it broke. And we got the OG Scott. Not much to say except for a bit old. Got the commensal. Pretty dreamy, pretty dreamy. Got the um Hope and DT wheel set. Let's see if we can get this girl running for you. Oh wrong way. Oh get a load of that in you. Alright. Quenchal frame, honestly, in size large. With 27s and a rock shock pipe up the front and a mud guard. One of the mucky mutts. Mucky nuts. We've got a SRAM level for the rear and a SRAM guard for the front. It's a bit stinky. Needs new grip. You can see under there. God, it's not bad, it's not bad. The, the, the dropper post is a bit cooked. I don't know if you can see, but uh, you, can, you can push it down. It's a bit, it's a bit cooked. We'll just leave that there. But, new addition, DMR Volt pedals, really good, but they did do me a mischief on my back and my legs, so I'm not sure. And the Taco Fest Mud Guard by Xavier, on your mate. And we got the bottle cage with this. This is here, so when we put the JBL in, it doesn't fall out. And obviously we got the GX drive train, because why not? But, we might be getting a new fork and some Magura soon, for calm. And we got the scoop. I'm gonna go on the scoop one handed and do a bar spin. That counts. And now we will go back to Miles. See what Miles is doing. Got the oil patch. Got the scoop. And oh. there you go. We got this dreamy Steve. A bit stinky these days though. Uh, update on the progress. Um, I've just put a bunch of silicone around this, and if you look down Looking here, pretty plain. They are close. That is, that's perfect. But yeah, I just need to drill this in, and then we should be set. My drip, my drip, my drip. Now we're doing the mounting. Yeah. Put a bit of silicone in it. Yeah, make sure everything's waterproof. You don't want any water getting in your car. You don't want to make it all rusty, crusty. Now we're assembling the motor. Down. My motor, my motor, nice. my motor. Not the silicon. Silo. Ah. Silicon. My drip, my drip, my drip. Don't it. How many do you have for? 
hope so. Back in business, get a good angle of it. Found some screws that fit, hopefully. Well, not screws, they just, because these ones have these on the end of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they can screw in better. Yeah. Bracken. All right, so we've got everything up. We've got the bar in, the motor all set up. Silicone just needs to set halfway there. The only thing I'm missing is I just need to get a little pin for in here because it's missing the pin, which makes it like it makes it fall down like this. Because what you, do, you use that pin to hold it, then when you're going up to shallow water, you use the pin to hold it like this. Yeah. But um, pretty sturdy rig. Yeah. The only thing that's missing is the battery. I don't have a battery yet. They're expensive. But yeah, we've got fluids, reverse, slow, fast. But yeah, pretty pretty gangster. And then you just use so you sit like this. You can use the uh this to turn. And yeah, and then once I get that pin, if you let go, it should stay. You can just go forwards. Stay upright. Right. But yeah, it's pretty. Pretty happy about it. Get a little cinematic shot. I've got a